Hello, Internet! Shout is here, and it's time for another episode of Arena Time here on Shoutstone. We, of course, are following Trump through his run through the arena, as we hopefully will see our first 12 win arena run here on Shoutstone. But, you know, it's just a matter of luck, so without any further ado, let's get to the action right now. It is. Jaina versus Jaina. Trump playing the part of Jaina the Mage at the bottom, and Co Coca Coakley? Coca Coakley playing the part of the Jaina at the top. Ah, uh, alright. So, happy Friday, everybody. I hope you are all looking forward to this Monday's episode of uh, Games in 60 Seconds. Uh, there will be videos that go up on this channel that announce when a video goes up over there. Just, you know, I want to make sure that people check them out. Hopefully you, you haven't had a chance to go over there, burn a minute of your time to check things out. But anyway, Worgen Infiltrator coming out to start things off. And a Mana Worm coming out for his opponent, both being traded off, however, on this following turn. So the field is still clear by turn two. As we move in, by the end of turn two, I guess I should say. Sorcerer's Apprentice coming out for... The opposing mage player, Trump, has a few options here. You know, it's certainly tough to consider playing that uh, Shattered Sun Cleric because you kind of want to play it at a different time. Now, this is a pre-recent patch game because it's hard to keep up with all these patches. I, I have like a, a whole litany of games that are in my lineup, so they may not always be up to date, but whatever, you know? <laughs> I'm going to try to keep up with them as best I can, but I can make no promises because it takes a long time to get some of these games. Alright, anyway. Opposing Mage Player coining out an Ogre Magi. So, quick trade there by that Summoner and the Magi. Can respond with the Chillwind Yeti, a staple card of the Arena deck. And many other decks, too. But it's definitely a popular card in the Arena. 4 drop, 4 5. It's very strong. And it will be claimed by a fireball, so... I think Trump's gotta be happy that a minion ate that fireball. Probably not too happy that his field is empty right now, but hey, you know, something. So Injured Blade Master and a Bloodfin Raptor coming out. To try and form a little bit of a barricade against whatever opposition the Mage player has. So, Trump is definitely gonna eyeball that Ogre Magi. Uh, he's definitely gonna want to take that out of play. Probably as soon as possible, because any extra spell power that a mage deck has is just going to be trouble. Kona Cold will cause that, uh, I almost said Rabbi, Raptor to go away. And the Magi just going to attack straight into the hero, freezes that injured Blade Master. So he's going to play the Shattered Sun Cleric, buff up the Blade Master a little further, and plays the Arcane Intellect to get a couple of cards. So, all right. 5-2 Blade Master, 3-2 Shattered Sun Cleric. Now sitting on the field as we wait to see what happens next. Frost Elemental, he's going to lock down that Blade Master once again. Control is the name of the game when it comes to Mage decks. Now he's got two Polymorphs in his hand, but I don't think he really cares to it. He's going to burn his Hero Power. Oh, and he is going to burn a... Uh, is he? No. Well, Maybe. I mean, it's not a bad idea to play a, a Polymorph against another Mage player. Um, there's not a lot of buff cards, aside from, you know, minion cards and things like that that can really be put into play. Against a Paladin player, it can be very dangerous if you don't clear out that Polymorphed Sheep right away. And he doesn't have anything to take care of it immediately, so... It's going to be interesting. I mean, as far as the decision goes here... He definitely wants to get rid of that Frost Elemental. At least as soon as possible. But, no, he actually is going to pass the turn with five mana left, so... End of the seventh turn coming up. The opposing Mage player. Gonna have a few options. Hopefully have some more spells in there. I mean, at least that Magi is out of Trump's hair, so... That's a little bit of additional spell power that he doesn't need to contend with. I know I still call it spell power, spell damage, whatever, it's... You know what I mean. It does the same thing, doesn't matter what they call it. Alright, Bloodfin Raptor 
and a Kobold Geomancer coming out. So there's that additional point of spell power back, and a Frost Nova again locks that Blade Master down. So Trump now in a little bit of a pickle here. He, his, his one minion keeps getting controlled very well. We are on the eight turn, so. I mean, he's got to start getting some offense out there. I, I think this mage player is burning through all of the control he really has, which is kind of a good thing. I mean, he could get the, the opposing mage player to burn through most of the control he has, um, which can be very useful to, to establish a nice late-game presence. All right, as it stands right now, that elemental is gone, thanks to an attack in from the Argent Commander and a quick ping. So now the opposing hero is down to a 3-2 two, and 2-2. Two, two. And the Blade Master dies in the quick minion trade. So the field's clear once again. Here comes a Raging Worgen. And he's going to ping it himself to trigger the Enrage, which is the Wind Fury and the plus one attack. And here comes a hopefully good Arcane Missiles. And yes, it is successful. He does manage to take out that Raging Worgen. So, Elemental for him, as well as a Violet Teacher, things starting to look pretty good for Trump. They're starting to turn around a little bit as we get into the later game, which is exactly what Trump was hoping for. A lot of those control cards were burned. Playing some Taunt now, which can be, of course, polymorphed away, but there's a secret in play now. So we'll have to see. Another Frost Elemental. Alright, so he does burn one Polymorph to trigger the Secret is enough to get that extra 1-1 minion out there, but it's not enough to counter the second Polymorph, which gets another 1-1 minion into play. And it will immediately be cleared, and here comes the incoming damage, so freezing a mage player, really not a big deal, mages don't have weapons, so it's not going to stop anything, um, but whatever, it's just a byproduct of the attack. So now... Things turning around. A lot of now, now we're getting into the taunt cards of the deck. He's just gonna ping away one of those uh, little apprentices there. But things are looking good for Trump. He's got a few options on this next turn. He could bring out that elemental and the Sendin Shield Master, should he want to. Could also trade. He could take that elemental and trade one of the smaller minions to clear... Oh, well, actually, he's going to trade the Violet Teacher. I think he thinks he's got enough value out of that. So between that, a ping, and still has a couple of those apprentices out there, the health totals are even. And here comes a Senjin Shield Master. As we said before, to now further solidify Trump's presence. So, in a game that was definitely not turning in the favor of... Oh, and an early uh, submission <laughs> concession, I guess, if you will. I guess he just sort of felt he would not have the cards to respond, and Trump was just on a roll, basically. So, he concedes at 17, but uh, sometimes you just gotta know when you're beat. And I think that guy knew when he was beat. Well, there you have it. That's gonna do it for this episode of Shoutstone. Once again, don't forget, sign up for our tournament you have until February 11th. Here's the link to the tournament video with all the details, as well as the link to sign up. And you can watch the first episode of Ga Games in 60 Seconds. <laughs> Almost said gone. Uh, first episode of Games in 60 Seconds, Hotline Miami, right there. Stay tuned for next Monday for another episode. We'll probably be going to a two-time-a-week rotation on that show. Maybe. We'll see. But anyway, once again, that's going to do it. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you folks next time.